Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1078. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, 1077 to 1078, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great one here. We got a data dump from a database that gives us the date time when the call began, the date time when the call ended, and there's our cost per minute. Not only that, but the way we calculate total cost is we have to round the actual time value we get for the length of the call. We have to round it to the nearest 15 seconds. We're also going to see some cool things about time number format. All right, so let's learn our first trick. How in the world do you get from date, time, just the time. Well, let's wipe away this number formatting. I'm going to apply the general number format with Control Shift Grave Accent. The date part is an integer. The time part is a decimal. So really, when we see a value like this, date time, it's really integer, decimal. So how do we get just the decimal? Control Z to apply that formatting. We use the mod function. Now, the mod function divides or takes a number which is the numerator. And the divisor, the denominator, we're just going to say 1. That way, it'll divide it by 1. And the remainder will be the decimal amount. There's the decimal amount. If I come over here, right? there's the decimal, Control-Z. Now, we need later time minus earlier time. So I'm going to do mod minus mod, boop, comma 1, close parenthesis, minus. So there. Double click and send it down. Now, we might want to see this as the time or hours, minutes, seconds. So Control-1 to open up Format Cells. Come down to Custom. Let's highlight General in the type and type hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, colon, second, second. And boom, we can see our time number format. Click OK. So there we have it. Now, how do we round this to the nearest 15 seconds? Well, anytime you're rounding, you can use the round function. Well, we're not rounding to a position in the number. We're rounding to an amount, 15 seconds. So in that case, we can use M round. All right, so there's our number, comma. And wait a second, how in the world do I know what 15 seconds is? Because that's a decimal. That decimal part is the proportion of a 24-hour day. So 8 hours would be 8 divided by 24, which would give us 1 third, or 0.3333. So how do we get 15 seconds? Well, I'm going to say 15 divided by. And you know what? I don't know how many seconds there are in the day. So I'm just going to go 24 times, that's hours, minutes times seconds. Now, I'm not going to keep it there. Watch this. I'm going to highlight this and F9 to hard code that in. That's how many total seconds there are in a day, a 24-hour day. There's 15 seconds. So this will round, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now I'm going to highlight all this, right click, point to the paintbrush, boop. And then look at that. It's totally annoying. It won't get this out of the way. Escape. Right click the cell down here, point to the paintbrush, and then highlight all of these and let go. So there we go. Now that's fine and dandy. There's rounded. And we can see 27 got rounded to 30, 10 got rounded to 15. But now, what if we want to show this in minutes? So here I want 67. I'm going to highlight these cells equals left arrow, Control Enter. Let's just go and get those values, Control 1. And let's apply a special time number format, square brackets, minute, minute. That says don't show hour, show, show only minutes. One hour will show up as 60. Now we want colon SS, and that will work OK. So there it took the one hour, which is 60 minutes, added the 7 and got 67. That's just displaying it different. Now the cost equal sign minutes times the cost per minute. That will not work, because what is that? That's number formatting. There's a decimal there. So when we multiply a teeny decimal times 24 cents, we get something teeny. So what do we have to do? Well, I've done many videos on doing payroll time sheets where we go from some time that are number of hours and we multiply by 24. Here, we can't multiply by 24. We need to multiply by total 
minutes in a day. So 24 times 60. You know, if you do this all the time, you have it memorized, but this is a great trick. I don't know what that equals. I highlight and F9. There we go, minutes in a day. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Whoops. <laughs> Notice it's highlighted, so the top cell is the active cell. F2 to put it in edit mode. I forgot to lock this cost, so I click touching the cell, F4. Control Enter to populate that edited formula down through the range. Control 1 and something like currency. All right, that was a bunch of fun getting from a data dump time dates. End and begin, calculate the total time, round it to the 15 seconds, and calculate total cost. All right, we'll see you next video.